Many people ask about, or actually ask and obsessed about this whole concept of soulmates. What's a soulmate? Anybody want, you want a soulmate? You want a soulmate? Yeah. How about you, Sam? You want a soulmate? If, I guess, I don't know. If, I don't know huh? If it's good, if it's good, then you yeah. mm. I have a problem with the concept soulmate. And I'll tell you why I have a problem with it. And I think if, if I'll make myself maybe a little clearer, you'll understand one of the reasons that we, we have such hot rate of divorces and so on and so forth. So is the search for soulmate a wrong search? Again, the question is, is the search for a soulmate a wrong search? And I will tell you the answer is yes. People ask for their so-called other half. I mean, sometimes I even use it as an expression for, to describe my wife and so on and so forth, but I think there is a problem with it. And let me tell you this. We spoke a little bit about it on Thursday. If I'm thirsty, it's an indicator that what? That, that I'm dehydrated, that I don't have water in my body, fluid in my body. If, I have, if I'm hungry, right? It means that I need to have food in my body. If I want money, means I don't have, eh, maybe money, no, everybody wants money, even if you have a lot of money. Very few people says, okay, I had enough. And so on and so forth, right? If you said, I need a car. Say, you're sure, you have a car? Okay, do you need another car? No, why? Because I have a car, I need another car. All these wants and needs and desires indicate that something is missing from the physical uh, entity that is that is you. However, when it comes to the soul, it, it faces us with a little problem. Because a soul is a complete entity. When Akadosh Baruch Hu gave us the soul, he gave us a whole unit. He didn't give us half a unit. Half a unit would not enable us to be alive. He gave us a whole piece. When I'm saying that I look for my soul mate, most of the time, to most people, is looking for a soul to mate with. Serious. People are afraid of being alone, loneliness, and so on and so forth. Uh, and that's why they want people around them. Not necessarily they're looking for that. And the reason is very simple. If I indicate that I need uh, a soulmate, a person, it indicates that there is something lacking within me. My soul is complete. However, in my spiritual experience, there's something missing. And I'm looking for someone to fulfill that emptiness with something that is not necessarily always spiritual. It could be other things than that. Most of the people are looking for someone to fix their problems rather than to fix their own problem themselves. So therefore, when you get married, finally you find a person that you could like or you don't dislike that much. Okay? And that person is not able to deliver what you want them to deliver and X amount of time into the future you are still faced with the same issues that you had before because guess what, they're not going away. You know why? Because you haven't dealt with them. So all of a sudden you says, why am I living with this person? And then you blame that person for not fixing your problem and then you divorce. 
A person should, before they start dating, work on their own spiritual and, and, and on their soul integrity, call it this way, to be strong, to know who they are, to know what they want, to know where they're standing, to understand the location that they are at, to be aware of the situation that they're at. And after they, 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 they realize that, then they can look for someone. But before you realize who you are, what you are, what is it that you really need? As I said to you before, are you looking for a soul mate or are you looking for a soul to mate? There's a big difference between the two. Most people are not looking for another whole person. So then you have two people that are, look, that are broken and they're looking to fit each other and it doesn't fit. Even from the time of the Gemara, the Gemara says 40 days before the person is born, they say this one to this one. They didn't say this half to that half. You are born alone, you are born an entity. And that problem goes all the way to Adam Arishon. It's not her problem. She did it. No, Mr. Adam Arishon. The problem was with you. You could have said no. But you threw the blame on her. And that's why when things don't work out for you, you blame your old your spouse for it. And then you divorce. So the whole search for a, for a partner to life, a wife or a husband, is initially wrong. We don't look the right way. How many people, we're talking about the shit of Christ, there's all kind of garbage like that. How many people are actually willing to look at the person where he is at or where she's at and which direction are they heading, rather than, excuse me, where have you gone to school? Which schools have you gone to? Which schools your father went to? What is your father doing? What has to do with me getting married, what my father is doing? My father is a fisherman in the Sea of Galilee and walks on water. Who cares what he does? And sells bottled water for tourists. Who cares what he does? Look at the person. You can't look at the person because you don't want to look at the person. You want to look at all the other things around besides to look at the person himself because you are also want to be evaluated based on all the things around you rather than really who you are or where you are holding. Are you spiritually intact or not? And that's what we want rabbis, all kind of like uh, you know, people to do the work for us. We want this one to do the work for us. We want Mashiach to do the work for us. We want this one to do the work for us. We want uh, Maria, the cleaning lady, to do the work for us. We don't want anybody, everybody to do everything for us, and we don't want to do anything. And that's why the search for a soulmate is a wrong search. You need to look for your own integrity. You need to understand that as a soul, you are spiritually a unit, a complete whole unit. You are the, that part of you came directly from Akadosh Baruch who cannot be missing. Your soul might want to yearn to earn, but your soul wants also the first thing that your soul wants, and and it's put into your neshama, is that urge to to get closer back again to its source. We take that and we manipulate it that our source wants now physical things and spiritual things. How many people would be are, are yearning to grow spiritually with such desire as much as they want a new car or a new possession and a new things and so on and so forth. Therefore, the more you are possessed with physical things, the less spiritual of a person you are. And do not fool yourself. At that point, you should basically marry a shopaholic, not a person. Because you have that a lot in common. You need to work on yourself. You need to work on your neshama. You need to work on your spiritual integrity. And only after that, you could look for a person who did the same thing. Don't look for broken pieces. Look for wholeness. A great day.